Tahira. Oh, no, you see the behind the scenes. Ooh, I love the tote. Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for another vlog. And to start off this vlog, it wouldn't be a vlog without going to dinner and showing you all the food. So we're headed to dinner soon. I have here my Teddy Blake bag that I've been enjoying. It goes really well with these earth tones. Um, I have that Anna Faye suit on. I just filmed my Sephora haul and um, this is a little bit embarrassing, but I think you need to see the realities of YouTube. And I'll start talking, I think, a little bit about that if you're interested in like the reality of YouTube because there's so much that goes into just the business of it and the expense of it, if you wanna know about that. I've had questions about PR, so I can start including things like that in vlogs if you're curious, but um, I'll show you this. And then tomorrow, I really need to work in this room because you only see like that little corner of the room, like not even that, like that little corner. You don't even see that there's stuff up there. Um, but as I pan out, you're gonna see a big old disaster. This is what happens in filming. I think I threw a box in the Sephora haul. I just threw it because there's so much in the way. Um, here's the filming area. Uh, not pretty at all and not at all organized. That's why I can never find anything. Whenever I say I can't find that thing that I just used, it's because that's what that looks like. That's the desk. And then uh, let me just pan over here for even more stuff and boxes. And this is just the reality of, I, I don't know anybody who does YouTube who can maintain a really clean space unless I think if they have a lot of space, they might be able to maintain it, but I just have the small filming area and things get thrown, <laughs> as you can see. And it's not pretty, but sometimes the time is such a factor that things have to get turned around really quickly. There's no time to clean up. And the other side doesn't look any better here. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean that up tomorrow, film something as well. But I thought I'd start sharing that kind of thing with you in case you're interested. I always thought it was interesting before I did YouTube kind of what things were like behind the scenes. So I'll start including that in my vlogs. But before we go to dinner, I just wanna say thank you so much for spending time with us here on this vlog. I know that time doing anything is an investment. Time is something that we can't get back. So I really appreciate you spending time here. Again, let me know what you love about the vlogs. I'll be happy to include that. Today's is gonna to be pretty much, I don't know, actually, and I don't know where these vlogs are gonna go once I start. That's what I like about them. I do know I need to pack. So we'll do some decanting. Hopefully this time is my hope. Um, and then show you how I pack efficiently for a trip for care with a with a carry-on versus a check-in. Um, yeah, we'll go from there and ugh, we're gonna clean too. Before we go to dinner, I do wanna talk about what I'm wearing on my face because I always get questions whenever I forget to add something and then by the time you ask me I have no idea. So right now I have on the Cougar palette. I've got on the East Sem eyeliner in black and platinum. I think that's what the combination is. I've got Chantecaille's Hosea Longa slash mascara, Dior brows. I don't have any foundation, just the Charlotte Tilbury concealer here. Um, I have the uh, rose gold sheer, it's not rose gold, it's a sheer gold Nope. Sheer Rose, that thing from Shantikai, this one. This one under the eye and on the cheekbones. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury 8.5 concealer, radiant concealer here. I had to actually fix that a little bit with the um, Waterfresh tint though to make it a little bit smoother. And then I went in with La Prairie here, Clay de Peau in the corners in Mocha. And then I have the uh, NARS blush, the Holiday Blush palette. And then I took a little bit of the Merit this is the day I did the Sephora haul. The Merit blush in Beverly Hills just for a little dewiness. And the Chantecaille um, Perfect Blur Powder. And the Charlotte Tilbury Blur Powder. What is this called? Flawless Radiant? That white powder. Um, I also have on, oh, I always get questions about this lip and I always forget. It's Spirited by Lisa Eldridge. Whenever I want a little bit more color, but not too much, I go with Spirited by Lisa that? No, Spirited Away. <laughs> that is the one. I used that by Lisa Eldridge for a little bit of color, but not too much. And I think that's it. Hey, babe, you want to say hi? Hello out there. Go get your hair in there this time. So we're headed to dinner. Oh, that's nice on you. You're blue. Hi, honey.
Good morning. I, <laughs> this looks frightening. Um, I am going to edit a video while I have this on. I'm very, like I said, diligent about using my beauty tools, beauty devices. And I went in with the Nira. I figured out that was earlier. No, I figured that was easier to use in the morning because it's so fast. And I think I've been using that, gosh, a couple weeks now, maybe. I also applied the Auteur um, toner under this. So I've got that on and I have some editing to do. So I have some inserts to include for a little sponsored video. This one's not sponsored, but I do have one coming up. I need to put that in for approval. So usually if you have a sponsored video, you need to get approval on it first, just to make sure everything is aligned correctly. So I'm gonna work on that. And this robe is that sweatshirt robe. I talked about it before, but it's like sweatshirt material. And we got these when we stayed in that hotel in Venice. And it's got a hood on it. I love this thing. My husband has one too, but that's what I have on now. And then, oh, I'll tell you about that dessert that I had last night that you should have seen the video of. But I'm gonna do some editing and then um, we'll get to cleaning finally. Yeah, this is very scary looking. Okay, I'm gonna finally um, try and fix this here. Uh, oh, the dessert though that I wanted to talk about, it's a really lovely like flaky dough layered with a light cream. I don't know what kind of cream it is, but it's like almost like a whipped cream, but heavier, um, but it's my favorite dessert there. So I made sure to make room for that, but we're gonna go ahead and I think the plan is gonna be to at least take all the garbage out first because I do kind of just toss packaging wherever it goes when I open something. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna film a video later and then we have dinner again tonight. So let me at least get rid of all the garbage parts here and then we'll start sorting. I don't know if I'm gonna finish today, but at least I'm gonna start. Got someone joining me for some unboxing again. I hear him. Oh, careful. It's not fully can only see the behind uh, the scenes. I showed them earlier and I this is better. We better call risk management department. Just enough room for you to there's nowhere even to put the phone down. Okay. It's on the floor. Hi. Hi honey. I guess I'm unboxing again. Yes, he's back for the unboxing, so I think that look, now your whole head is in the frame. You got your hair and everything. He's growing out his hair to be more like um what's his name? Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Jeff Bridges. She wants Jeff Bridges hair. You have good hair though, so it'll yep. be nice. Need more hair apparently. What? Need more hair? Jeff Bridges has a beard. Oh, do you want a beard too? Not necessarily. Do you? <laughs> I, I don't know. So we're gonna do some unboxing. Oh, I wanted to show you something first though. I don't know if you noticed. Did you make 19,500? Yeah. Thank you so much for 19,500. We just need 500 more for 20,000. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm wearing all of my Lily Silk. We're gonna go out to dinner. I'll show you food pictures. We're going out with other people though, so I probably, I don't know. We won't put them on camera, but we'll put the food on camera. But we're gonna see some friends for dinner and I'm very hungry just had fruit and yogurt today. But we're gonna unbox. I'm gonna let him actually unbox so he can tell you about the products. Or we can see what he thinks they are. I think that'll be interesting. Okay, here's your first one. The personalized note, not for me. We're so excited to gift you our limited edition holiday Lotus collection in the collection. Oh, let me just let him unbox first. So you gonna show them, show them what it looks like? Yes, so far. Okay. I'm excited for this. Show the bag. <laughs> What's in the bag? Is it fabric, the bag? Is it bag fabric? Oh. Well, it's Shantikai. I know this name very well. How do you know this name very well? I hear it all the time. <laughs> he does hear it all the because time. Because I subscribed. What is that? Uh, you have to tell me. No, you have to tell us. Lotus Perfect Blur <laughs> Glow Powder. Can't wait for him to open it up so we can see. Gosh, he's doing everything today. Yes, he is. <laughs> this is the Lotus Radiance 
highlighter. This is the Lotus Blossom Radiant Blush by Shantikai. I'm really excited for that one. Okay. Um, and then there's also, don't forget, oh, but there's more. A special, okay. A special, special package here. <laughs> this is called the Lip Crystal by Shantikai. And then do you want to tell them about this? I'm um, not real sure about this other than it's a complimentary color, a matching color. It's pretty. I like it. It's a fabric bag and I love this shade, this green shade. It's pretty, but it's fabric. Excuse me. See, now you just throw stuff on the floor. That's I'm, how this happens. I'm busy here. Oh, yes, I know. People are watching. Oh, they are. Would you like to unbox? Go ahead and unbox. Oh, another unboxing. <laughs> This is like the micro unboxing. Which one is this? Well, this is going to be the Lotus Radiance Highlighter. But, oh, talk about oh, that. Let's talk about this. Very tactile and very appealing. Oh, I like the design. Do you know what it is? It looks like a lily pad. Well, didn't you used to actually... Um, yes. Yes what? I harvested seeds from a lily to use as decorator items. Yeah, so it reminds you of that. Yes, and I have no idea how to open this. You'll have to show me. Thank you. Oh, it's very pretty. Good job showing it. I'll probably put some inserts in there <laughs> later where it's really close. Ooh, it's like a pinkish shade. It looks very gentle in its glow. So excited to try that. Of course, I will try this. I've been waiting to actually try this, so. I actually don't see much detectable shimmer in here either, but it's like a pinkier shade. Lovely. Beautiful. Your okay. hands are sweaty. What's next? Are you hot? I just took a shower. Okay. <laughs> I was getting ready for the unboxing. Okay. All right, now we're looking at Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. I'm excited for this one because I love the Perfect Blur Powder. And so I really want to know the difference between this and the blur powder. And the blur powder started out as a limited edition product in their, um, which collection was it? I don't even remember, but it was limited. Oh, it was the hummingbird, I think. And then it became a permanent collection. Ooh, ooh, I love the tone. Okay, you can remove the plastic. I love the tone. It's got a little hint of peachiness to it. And I'm so curious how this is going to compare to the Perfect Blur Powder. You can unbox that, continue please, and I'll show you the Blur Powder. Um, anyway, did I finish my story? The Blur Powder came back because, um, came back as a permanent item because everyone loved it so much and I'm so glad they did because as you know, I use that pretty much every day and have used it more than any other powder, I have, oh, oh, any other powder that I've used in my life, I think. This one's quite different. It's a blush. Lotus Blossom Radiant Blush. Okay, I'll compare the... I don't know what I did with it. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Looks like it has quite a bit more pigment than um, the other one. Let's see. There have been, I think, two in this formula. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there was like a lighter one, the Flower Power, which I loved. I hit pan on that and just saved a little bit of it to see if I could ever find a dupe. And then there was another one. It was last year's holiday that was like a brighter pink. It looks like the same formula, but I, this is gorgeous packaging. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm still looking for the blur powder I used earlier. You can keep going. This is a lip crystal. It was on the bottom of the bag. Go ahead. Wait. Pink opal. Pink opal. Go ahead and open it. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Oh, it's very pretty. It has a lot of sparkles. Oh, it does have a lot of sparkles. So we're gonna see how this looks on me. Lips with sparkles. Eh. What? Wow. We'll wait and see. Why did you say eh? Lips with sparkles. We'll wait and see. Why did you say eh? Because that's not something you typically would do. That's right. That is right. That's very correct. So we'll see how this works on me. It looks really beautiful here. But of course, I'll okay. show close-ups. Okay, that's package number one. So he asked me, is this really gonna take an hour? And I said, you never know with unboxing because we are already, that's like 10 minutes right there. One thing. Okay. I'll this, speed up. No, you don't have to, but I'm just, we have to go in 40 minutes today. Package dinner. number two. So this is, this is, do you want to tell, oh gosh, do you want to tell us, do you, he has no idea what this is. 
So I already know what this is. They contacted me to ask if I would love to try their products and I would. So you can see here, um, do you wanna show them the logo? Wow, that's really close. Thank you for your order and support. I hope you love your new brushes as much as I loved making them. And who's it from? Who does it say? Lisa. Lisa, do you know who Lisa XOXO. is? XOXO. Who is Lisa? <laughs> from the BK Beauty. Let me show you. Lisa this is from Lisa. BK. Lisa okay. J. Lisa J. She has a YouTube channel and she also has this brush company. Well, it's a very nice note. Thank you for your order and support. I hope you love our, excuse me, I have to cut. <laughs> Thank you for your order and support. I hope you love your new brushes as much as I loved making them. Signed, Lisa. Thank you so much to Lisa J and BK Brushes. I have not tried any of them, so I'm excited. Go ahead and, wow, it looks like there are many, many things that you need to be unboxing. Wow. This is why it takes a while. Look like they've been uh, hand packaged with a lot of care. I agree. Wow. This is quite a haul. Oh, wow. <laughs> How many brushes That's is that? That's just one. That's just one. It's five brushes. Five. And what do you think those are for? Uh, something like this. Well, look at the size. What do you think they're for? Uh, do you use that on your eyes? What about the other ones? Why are there so many? Brows, eyes, cheeks. Okay, keep going. I'll watch your videos so I'll know. Okay. So we have five in this bundle and there are a few bundles. I see that you're just flinging garbage everywhere. Yes. This is what happens. Yes. Now you know my pain. There seems to be a theme in the room. <laughs> Throw the garbage. I did uh, fill one garbage kit, uh, trash bag with... I'll unbox all of these, of course, and show them to you uh, up close because I'm very excited about these. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm starting to see a pattern. And there are some big brushes in here. What are those for? Yes, uh, this will be more of the cheeky area, I think, the bigger brush. And what about the small brushes? Uh, more detail, more refined, probably around the eyes. Am I close? Yeah, that's good. So, so far we have 10 brushes. Thank you so much. Very generous. And I have been on the hunt for brushes. As you know, I haven't actually purchased a lot of brushes because uh, I couldn't really find anything that was going to be small enough for my eye area. So it's been a hunt and now I have so many lovely brushes to try. Wow. What do you have here? <laughs> That's a major brush. What's That's that for? That's like for the full body. <laughs> Forehead. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. And you still have more. The last one. So we've got two more. Are you enjoying this? Sure. If it helps you out, I enjoy it. Well, now you know why everything is so messy all the time. But you know, I like to clean while I'm cooking yeah. in the kitchen. But that's not happening here. So I here. want to reach down and clean everything while I'm unboxing. But the film is going off the problem. Yes. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, now we have four big brushes. And what are what are those for? Again, these are for larger surface areas, probably for blending. Blending what? Stuff. What do we say? Oh, we forgot. Did we say thank you to Shantikai? Thank you so much, Shantikai, for sending over your holiday collection. To Shantikai and also BK Beauty. Yes, thank you so much for sending these over. We have uh, one more thing, at least for today. Pardon me while I drop the cardboard. Yep. This. Go for it. No, you do it. I just did that because the label is facing that way. So the company what? is called <laughs> Mian Mianzai. M I A N S A I, and they reached out to ask if I would like. Um, to receive something and I said please I would love to they are a can you guess what they are from there what will come in a very small package jewelry they're a jewelry company and they have some uh, fine jewelry as well as I think plated jewelry and they sent this that's really cute what is it it's jewelry oh is that how are you showing it yes I'm sure it's in the so it highlights nice what kind of jewelry is this? It's very cool. Uh, I think you put it on your wrist. Yeah, it's a little bracelet. So 
so it hooks like this so yeah, make sure dainty. to check them out yeah it's very dainty but then it has like an earthiness to it with a little i don't know what stones these are it's very one. simple it is simple but i'll wear it actually it goes with my outfit i'll try is it too small i feel like everyone's watching me good job so it has a little gold accent on there so, oh, right there. So make sure to check them out if you're interested. But oh yeah, I'm going to wear it with my other jewelry today. So thank you so much for sending that over. And that's it for now. But what? No more boxes? Um, Not right now. But if anything comes in, I'll include you in that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so we may see him again. Yes, hopefully. I mean, in the video <laughs> later today. <No. laughs> I'll be around in a while. We're going to dinner. What are you going to get? I don't know. I'll have to look at the menu. Probably. We'll see. I was hoping to eat healthy today, but I don't know. I'm starving right now. But you look pretty. Thank you. My hair is doing a weird flippy thing, right? But do we make it in time? Because our friends are going to pick us up here and all. But and you already have your video time. face on. So you're, I do. Cause you're I good filmed, to go. I filmed a video. Well, I filmed a video already. You know how I like to try to maximize my time here. My opportunities. My hair looks different on camera, no, than it does here. Like, it looks not, like, it doesn't have as much body as it does here. And it looks very pretty. Okay. Oh, look, we're exceeding the recording time, because now it's like, you're done. Okay. That's good, you guys. We're done. take a closer look at the Chantecaille products and this is a natural light because we're going to do a demo in studio lighting so it might be nice to see this with natural light. I will also show you close-ups of all of the BK Beauty brushes but let's start with this. This is gorgeous packaging. I don't think it's visible online how lovely this is. You can see there's a 3D kind of effect here. So right there, it looks really beautiful. It looks like glazed pottery to me. That is the effect that it has in terms of its overall look. This is the Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. This is the one I'm really excited about. And there's the close-up of it. You can see that it has like a rippled surface about it. Really lovely. Let's watch this. So you can see there on my hand that it definitely has a reflective quality about it. So there it is and Again, this is natural light so you can see how it's a really gentle glow nothing sparkly and I think tomorrow the video of this is going up on the face on my face so we're gonna get to see this on as well as well as the other products this is the highlighter here and this is the powder right here that's the powder next to it so you can see that it's smaller in size you can see here Lotus Radiance highlighter these do say Chantecaille on this side on all of them and you see that kind of rippled appearance of the surface as well. The highlighter definitely has more of a glow than the powder. It has a little bit of the glow of, say, their uh, Radiance Elixir, that kind of vibe to it. And it also reminds me a little bit of their Sheer Rose Glow, that kind of shade to the reflective quality. I have this right here, so let me just swatch it. Uh, very undetectable next to the highlighter, so I can't really tell, but it does hint at that tone. But yeah, I can't really see it next to this highlighter. And then we have the blush, which looks so, so stunning. This is the Lotus Blossom Radiant Blush. Beautiful. And it's lighter on the arm than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more intense. But like I said, we'll see how it goes when I do the try on. And then we have this lip shade. And this is in Pink Opal. It's a lip crystal, if you know that formula. And even without studio lights, you can see the sparkles in there. Very festive. Okay, so there it is. It's almost like a translucent peach on me. And so we're gonna see what this looks like on its own as well as a topper on top of lipstick. Okay, let's take a look at those brushes. I've lined up all of the BK Beauty brushes so we could look at them individually and talk about what each one of them are for. So I'm excited to try these brushes. I feel so lucky to be able to try out so many lovely, lovely brushes. This is number 101. It's the ultimate streak-free foundation brush to provide natural looking flawless coverage from your favorite liquid 
pore cream foundation. These are vegan fibers, 100% cruelty free, more consistent fibers, less breakage, luxurious feel, flawless performance. Number 102 is the large powder brush, provides a sheer veil of powder application over the face with its fluffy, soft fibers, applies loose or pressed powders with the most natural application. This is the 103 bronzer brush. Use the tip of the brush to apply your favorite bronzer or contour powders to achieve a natural application. 104 is the tapered powder brush. We call this our multitasker powder brush. Use the tip to apply powder blush with precision. Use the side of the brush to dust a bit of bronzer or contour products around the face or set your foundation focusing on the center of the face with a smaller alternative to the large powder brush. 105 is a large buffer brush. This large, dense, round brush is a perfect face or body brush for buffing product into the skin. It can be used with powder, liquid, or cream products and effortlessly blends product into the skin with its large surface area. 106 is a round foundation brush. This rounded dome brush is perfect for applying your liquid or cream complexion products into the skin. The size allows it to multitask as a great tool for blending concealer under the eyes, blending out cream blush or building coverage from your favorite foundation. Number 107 is the flat brush. This multi-purpose face brush works well for precise application and blending out contour with ease. 108 is the Precision Powder Brush, the perfect size and shape for setting under eye concealer, setting powder only where needed, an ideal brush for dusting highlight where the light naturally hits the face. 201 is the Blended Crease Brush, provides a halo of color throughout the crease with this fluffy rounded brush tip. It picks up powder and deposits it like no other fluffy crease brush you've ever tried. Just gives a soft blended finish. Number 202 is the Defined Crease Brush. Create more definition and precision with the 202 Defined Crease Brush. Use the tip to pick up eyeshadow and apply in the outer corners of the eye or blend into the crease. The taper tip will provide more precision yet blend out the edges. 203 is the Shader Brush. This brush mimics your fingertip but with more precision. It picks up and packs on product like a dream. Best used on your lid for creating the most impactful payoff. 204 is the smudge it. Turn your eyeshadow into a smoky eyeliner using this brush. Its firm, dense shape will pick up shadow and apply it to mimic an eyeliner with a softer effect. You can also use this brush to smudge out coal or creamer liners. Okay, not sure if that's creamer liners or cream liners. Maybe it's cream liners. 205 is the contour shader. This brush was made to highlight the brow bone with precision. Its contoured edge hugs the eyebrow perfectly, creating the perfect highlight without layering into the brow hair. Number 206 is a blending shader brush. An all over shader brush that can double as a blending brush for those quick makeup days, the perfect brush for travel or minimalists. 207 is their pencil blender. I love a good pencil brush. The brush that makes outer corner definition a technique anyone can tackle. Use it to apply your darker shade then blend with a 202, 201, or 206 brush. This brush also works great for a diffused, smoky lower lash. 208 is their precision angled brush. The 208 makes winged liner a piece of cake. Its detail and shape do all the work for you. Use it with shadow, gel liner, or to extend a coal pencil and achieve eyeliner perfection. The precise angled brush takes out the intimidation of a winged liner and doubles as a brow fill brush. I hope this overview helped. This is the luxury makeup brush set that you can get all together. Of course, you can buy them separately, but this is a 16 piece set in case you are interested. And I still wanted to decant with you. I know we talked about it before, but didn't ever get around to it. So we're going to decant some skincare and I'll show you how I do that, how I get to a really minimal kind of um, packing. And then we're going to talk about how we're going to pack next time. We're going to finally do some decanting. I'm going to start uh, packing some things for my trip or our trip. Uh, so I'm going to start with some cleansing balm. This is the Alpha H. Actually, it's quite nice. I've been using this and I'm almost through with it. You can see it's almost done. So I just like to take a Q-tip. You could take a spatula, but I never know where my spatulas are. And then just transfer it in to this little container. And I probably will need a couple of these 
We're gonna be gone for about, how long? Seven days, I think. And this will last, because I only use this in the evening. This will last, oh gosh. Actually, this might be enough for seven days. Um, but I'll do another one just in case. So that's how I like to finish up product as well. But I would recommend this one, Alpha H. And so there's one. And I recall this one said it was good for uh, removing really heavy duty sunscreen, which is what I use during the day. But yeah, that should be more than enough. Okay, so those two are my cleansing balms. I take this with me because it helps cut down on cleansing balm use. It's the eye makeup remover. I love sample sizes because I travel with them. So this is going in as well. And then whenever I can find a cleanser, I think I use Sephora points to get this, like a liquid cleanser. I'll pick that up because it really is just the second step just to take off whatever residue is there. So it doesn't need to be super heavy duty. So I'll take this one. This is First Aid Beauty. Next up is the Chantecai Purifying and Exfoliating Phytoactive Solution. This is from the advent calendar from last year, not what's inside, but the bottle. And I love having bottles that look like the product because it's a lot easier for me to identify and I also don't have to label. So for something like this, I have a funnel. Just goes in. I've got this, uh, not let's like say a life size one. I have this regular sized, standard size. And then I just, Put it in the funnel. Super quick, otherwise this ends up all over the place. I may have to do another one. Let me think about that, because this might last me oh, about four days. Following up with the Chantecaille Biolifting Serum and this bottle, you can see it's peeling because this is from the advent calendar too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the, oh, I didn't bring it, let me go get it, hold on. Okay, so it has a dropper just like the regular sized one. Here's the one I'm gonna be taking that out of. And then this is easy because it just has, just has a dropper. So I'm gonna drop some in there. So anytime you can get minis of your favorite in a sample or something like that, especially with reusable bottles and containers, I think that's such a good idea. So for uh, brightening, I am using the Blancardinia right now, Brightening Essence, and I have those little glass dropper bottles. These right here, I already rinsed these and cleaned them out, so they are clean, just in case. And so I just take this and I put it in, and I kind of count the drops to see how many. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I never use a whole pump. Um, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 425. If I go like this, I can put a little extra in the top there. And there's a little bit more room if I want to put one more. And I think this should be enough. It's very little. So this, I wouldn't know what it was by memory. <laughs> by the time I open this, I won't remember. So I have these stickers I got off Amazon and this pen. I think they're all waterproof. That's why I got them. And then I can just write on there, um, Brightening. Brighten, oh, that's not gonna work. Brightening, close enough, <laughs> brightening. And then I'm just gonna stick it on there. I might fix that later, but just for today's purpose, I'll stick it on there. I also have a travel size of the Floritan CF. I love this one by Skinceuticals. Here's another product that I have a little mini too, which it's so great. I have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair in this, um, this is clean now. So I'm just gonna put a few drops in there. This is only for evening, so I don't need that, don't need that many drops. I'm also enjoying the Merit Great Skin. So I have another glass dropper. Just shaking this up first. Five, six, seven, eight, 14. I might need to do another one of these because that's 14 pumps, seven mornings, and I use this morning and evening. So I can use another one of those, but let me just write on here. Merit. Stick that on. So I just need another one of these and that's one week. If I have like a little Chanel eye cream, I love taking those, but I've run out. So I'm gonna take this one the stress repair concentrate this is a little one from the advent calendar um, that i've since cleaned and also refilled so there's plenty in there i also love the minis like this is a little mini dior addict that i just keep in my uh, travel for moisturizer like i say i like to use these samples 
and just travel with them. So I have the Chanel Sublimage La Creme and I love these mini Chanel fragrances. So we have here beige. I'm also taking just a regular clear lip gloss just because my lips get chapped and this is really easy to use, Tower 28. I have my mini topicals faded. And then I'm gonna take this Grande Brow. So let me put these all in one place. Oh, I do have the little Tatcha coming, so we're gonna add that as soon as the truffle gets here and we can put everything in. But let me just show you in the tray what I have. I almost forgot, this is my favorite mask to travel with, but of course I don't bring the whole giant one, the Gold Recovery Mask by Sean Takai. So I have a little one. I think this came from the Abnet Calendar. That was a really good thing to have because I used their packaging over and over. I'm just gonna take some of this. This is my husband's favorite as well when we travel. So, oh, I think someone asked me if he works in skincare. No, he does not work in skincare. He just appreciates skincare. My hands are wet. Got water on my hands here because I just made sure it was nice and clean. So I really like this for longer flights or just travel in general. My skin is dehydrated and tired. So I like to take that with me. So we've got a mini one of those. And then I love layering this on top, the Chantecaille Rose de May face oil. And I don't think I need to put more in there. And then we have uh, the Sheer Glow face tint. And I've got that in here as well. So this is all my skincare I'm taking and I'm just gonna add that Tatcha SPF, the mini one. And we'll put it in that little truffle when that arrives. So I hope that was helpful for you. I really try to get things down to as little as I possibly can. When I pack, I don't wanna bring anything extra because even the little things seem to add up. So getting things down to as small as possible is what I'm going for. But let me know your packing tips. What are some things that you do to really minimize? Because I'd love to learn from you. I'm sure you have really, really good tips out there. So let me know. But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.